Paul's iOS device is a proud supporter of the It Can Wait campaign. Texting and driving, it can wait. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here with Paul's iOS device and Apple finally released iOS 6.1 to the public today. So I want to show you how to update your device over the air. This way you don't have to plug your device into iTunes and wait an hour for iOS 6.1 to download. Now with the over the air updates, these are Delta updates, so you're only downloading what is new. You're not downloading the entire software. So first, you will need to go to your settings and make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. So make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. Next, you'll need to scroll down to iCloud. Go into iCloud and back up your device that way. Also, if you want to, you can also back it up via iTunes, but I recommend iCloud. Once you've done that, make sure you've got a decent amount of battery life. You need, I'd say, 60 to 70 percent, and if you don't have that, plug your device into a wall outlet, and then you can go ahead and continue on in these steps. So the final step, you will need to go to General, and then select software update. Now it's going to check for the update and you should see iOS 6.1. Now to learn more about this update, you'll select learn more and this will tell you what this update uh, includes. So there's just a whole bunch of minor stuff but I always always recommend updating your software because there could be little bugs here and there that are fixed. So let's head out of software update and select download and install. And now you're going to go ahead and select agree in the lower right hand corner. And this could this is going to tell you to to save your battery, you should connect your iPhone to a power outlet. Um, if you've got plenty of battery life, you can go ahead and do this without connecting to a wall outlet. So go ahead and select continue. And you'll see the gears start moving and depending on your device this uh, the size of this file um, will vary so the iPhone 4s compared to the iPhone 5 compared to all the other iPads it uh, it will vary so so uh, just go ahead and select download and install this will uh, obviously take as much time as it needs just depends on your Wi-Fi connection it's going to prepare the update so bear with it I'm going to speed this up for your convenience Now as soon as the software update is done preparing, you will begin to install the update. It will automatically count down or you can go ahead and just select install. Now it's going to verify the update and now you will soon get a black screen and then possibly soon after you'll get the Apple logo with a progress bar below. So again be patient. This does take some time. So let it verify the update and I will fast forward through this. Now that the first progress bar is complete, you will then get another Apple logo and then another progress bar will appear and this progress bar will not last near as long 
So again, be patient. This does take quite a while. Here's the second progress bar. This one will not take very long at all. Maybe a few seconds here. I am not going to fast forward through this because this is, you know, just takes a few seconds. Once this is done, you will then be presented with the start screen. Once again, you will have to reset up your, your Wi-Fi and also sign in with your uh, Apple ID password as well. So here we go, just slide to unlock and go ahead and select continue. Sign in with your iCloud and iMessage. See I've already connected to, uh, to Wi-Fi so I don't have to add that. So I'm going to type in my password. Once the password is in, just go ahead and select next. Now it's updating the iCloud. And now you are complete. You will start using your iPhone. And there you go. Everything should be back to normal. Nothing should have changed. All your settings should be there. Now again, look at my battery percentage. It went from 90 to 81. So this does take roughly 10% of your battery life. So again, make sure you are, in my opinion, you should be completely charged. And uh, the steps are, again, you will need to collect, uh, connect to your Wi-Fi network, back your device up via iCloud or iTunes, then go to Settings, General, Software Update, then Download and Install. So again guys, if you enjoyed this video, if this help, video helped you out, click that like button down below. That really helps me out. And also pound that subscribe button above. That way you see more videos like this and many more in your subscription box. Now again, if you are looking for a tether jailbreak uh, or a, an, an untethered jailbreak, that will be coming out in my opinion, this Sunday. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. That way you will see the untethered jailbreak. I will show you how to do that. So subscribe now. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.